What's going on, all the gorgeous people of the go? Gorgeous, gorgeous galaxy. It's Gorgina Gorg. Gang, 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 gang. We back with another video, video, video. If you are not a part of the Gorgeous Gang, get the out of here. It's like. Let me help you out so we don't got to have no confrontations or nothing like that. You can subscribe to this channel. That's the most gorgeous thing of all. Like this video and leave a comment down below. <laughs> and you don't know what to comment? <laughs> I can help with that too. Tell me I'm gorgeous because... Duh. Now, I am no Dolce Gabbana, no Anna Wintour, Naomi Campbell, et cetera, et cetera. So, I ain't no fashion expert, but um, I know what look good and what don't look good. So, I decided to share my opinions, read a couple of people, and yeah, we about to look at these Billboard Music Awards 2021 looks. The celebrities came to the carpet with their best dress on. Some of them mission complete, and some of them they turned their homework in. It was incomplete. <laughs> Crazy thing is, I ain't even watched the Billboard Music Awards. Award shows just haven't appealed to me in a very long time. Performances don't be what I want to see, and it's just the people that win the award. I don't be agreeing. Like I ain't really been a a, a award show watcher in a minute. But I do love fashion. I love clothes. And, you know, I do always try to see what people was wearing. And it'll be all over the internet anyway. Because fashion is always a big topic of conversation. Let's see if my buttons are going to stay in the middle for this video. I want you to loosen up my buttons, babe. Uh uh. But you keep fronting. So, uh. What you going to do to me? Uh uh. But I ain't seen nothing. Loosen up my buttons, babe. Loosen up my buttons. Should have loosen up my buttons, babe. One eternity later. Loosen up my uh uh uh. But you keep uh 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 uh. What you gonna do to me? <sighs> I could have been a pussy cat dog. <laughs> could not. <laughs> Let's get into these looks. So I was looking at the look. Oh my god, why is it that some of these people I don't even know who they are? Like I be feeling so old in terms of pop culture, like I don't be knowing who these new artists, TikTok, whatever type of people be. I do not be knowing it. Like I do not be in the loop, especially if they not black. It just don't be in my radius. Like I'm just not supporting and giving my time to these type of influencers and things. So, so many people I'm not even familiar with. So, they really might get dragged. And if they're your fave or someone you're a big fan of, I don't care. They, everyone's going to get the same treatment. Either it's gorge or it's garbage. That's how we rolling today. So, yeah. Let's get this going. And I love Doja Cat's fashion sense. Like, it's very true to her. It's very different. She gives me, like, a Erica Badu type of weirdness. But it's still chic and sexy. Really love it. So, she has on this top. Like, a tube top with very long, dramatic sleeves. And these high-waisted flare pants. Yeah, they touch the ground. It's Balmain, which I ain't no brand whore, so I mean, whatever. But this is a very nice outfit. I like the jewelry, the accents of blue that matching her eyes. The little two braids, very simple and cute. Makeup, simple, natural, new lip. That baby hers are laid. Doja Cat is gorge. I wish I put the names before the picture, because like I said, I don't need 
I'm recognizing who some of these people are. Um, so next we have Carol G and Celia Cortriati. <laughs> Sorry for the mispronunciation. Um, I do know of Carol G because she has a song with my favorite president of the whole wide world, Nicki Minaj, Tusa. Um, don't know much else about her outside from that song. Really pretty song. Her voice seems pretty. But um, Carol, this wig, baby girl, no, I, I'm not feeling the wig. It looks like she took it out of the bag from Party City and just threw it on her head very flat the roots i don't know i i like dark roots the blending through colors it look more natural but i don't know it's like the way the roots were dyed it still just look cheap it's not given um <laughs> whoever did her makeup this day did not do a great job from what i've seen at least like in the tusa video and i've seen other pictures of her she's very pretty but some of her makeup right here looks very harsh. And even the eyebrows and everything look very splotty. It's like... Were you in a rush? And the dress... Her body looks good. But it's... I don't know. It's not fitting right. Like, it just seems... It making her look wider. Like, I think this um, diamond on her stomach could have been... Maybe a little bit more smaller and cut in to create more of a hip illusion. Cause it's kind of like boxing her out. And if you could if you look close, she don't have a bad shape. But if you just happen to walk into her with this dress on, you would think she got a bad shape. And it don't hit the floor like that. It's just at an awkward length. Sorry, Carol, but this is garbage, mama. This is garbage. Next up, we have Sweetie, who could do no wrong. She's like top 10 most beautiful women in the world. Sweetie is wearing Guillaume Batista Valley. That sounds expensive. Like, rich bitch shit. That is really expensive. I love the color peach. I love peach. Um, this particular photograph, her face looks, it's not given. But the dress is pretty... It's very dramatic. I've seen her other pictures she posted to her Instagram with this dress. Very lovely. A lot of volume. The color is stunning. I like the accents of the hotter pink and her nails and on the uh, butterflies. So it's pretty. Um, earrings are pretty heavy. I think she should have went with maybe... I don't know. Maybe... Hmm. I don't know what else she would do. Because the hoop would have went with the style and a dangly no and the ponytail too maybe if it was a little higher maybe or say it's from looking at this angle if she had like some like blonde finger waves that would have set it off but the actual garment gorge and sweetie she gets a gorge it's cute Um, Gabby Bear, I don't know what you do, how long you've been doing it, but it don't look like it's paying off. Um, this dress is so heavy and it's ugly. Like, I do not like this color, this shape. She got that stingy little bun on the top of her head, which a bun works well with this outfit because it is a over the um, chest, over the shoulder. So it exposes your neck. And if she had hair that was down, it would drown out this look. Because it's already too heavy. So she did a good job with the bun. But why is the bun so small? Like, add some volume to that bun. Like, and even in the picture, she look like, okay, I'm here. Take my picture. Like, <laughs> did you want to be here, Gabby? Like, I don't even know what she do. But do she do music? Because she must have thought she wasn't winning a whoop. She must have not had thought she was winning an award. Like, this, and the shoes, oh my God. The shoes are hideous. Like, I do not like that. And it's a train too. So I wonder what the rest of the garment looks like, how long that train is. This is just very heavy. And the material looks heavy. Like, she has no shape whatsoever in this garment. 
and the makeup is very muted she looks washed out this this dark gold with her dirty blonde hair she looks washed out this 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 is garbage mama. garbage Gabrielle Union. Gabby been in the game for a long time and still looks good. <laughs> Baby, when I say black don't crack, black do not crack. So Gabrielle Union is wearing Prada. Prada, 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 Prada. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Gabby, because you look good. This dress isn't nothing I would wear, but it's very age appropriate for her. She looks very mature, classy. It fits well. The ponytail. I don't know. When I that's like the Barbie ponytail. When I see that style, I think of a more like upbeat preppy look. And this outfit she's wearing is kind of classy and mature. So I'm not sure if the hair is telling the same story as the garment. But I wouldn't give her garbage for that, but I'm not feeling the hair. She should have probably went with a more styled ponytail, like the simple, like straight back ponytail, a long one that's up, or, up high. And maybe that would have fitted, but I'm not really feeling the hair. But it's gorge enough. It's cool. It's not garbage, but I'm not like wild over it. But she looks put together, so Gabrielle Union can be gorgeous. We have uh, Chelsea Handler and Kristen Siriano. Now, I am familiar with Chelsea Handler, very funny woman, but um, she looks terrible. I'm not even at the Garmy, I'm just looking at her face. She looks 60 years old. I don't know how old Chelsea is, but right here is given 60. It's given you just woke up out of your crib after a thousand years sleep. It's given, oh my God, zombies are real. It's given someone punch you in both of your eyes and you just had to go out to this award show. Oh my God, it should not be making domestic violence jokes. What is wrong with me? But the eyeliner is so heavy and dark and makeup we not here to judge people faces but Chelsea is looking rough now I don't know if she's going through anything health wise so I do apologize if that's what's going on but right just looking at her I'm no like I didn't recognize her Chelsea Handler not one of the most beautiful women in the world but you know, she's put together and, and she looks rough. Like, very rough. And the dress, it's a no for me. Like, it's it's giving H&M spring line. Like, who is this dress made by? Kristen Siriano? No. This looks, it looks pedestrian. She has on these bedazzle pumps. No, this this is not a look the beach waves feel out of place like she has on hoop earrings for why no other jewelry and her arms are very long so it's drawing attention it's like you need a little accessory to balance this out and it's just it's not it's not given anything that you might have wanted to give return it just return it find a receipt return it Um, he is wearing, it doesn't say, and it shouldn't, cause, I gotta bring this closer, cause, yes, it's wool, like, he has on a, a wool sweater, turtleneck, underneath a button-up shirt, I don't know what he's wearing, and then he has on a another wool material uh trench trench sweater coat thing and bright yellow which this yellow is actually a really pretty color but i don't know nothing is going together like i feel like some people be trying to have a look 
But when they actually put it together, it's not. It does not get what y'all was trying to get. Like people try to make a statement, and it just falls flat. Like he has absolutely no neck. It's just it's just no garbage. <laughs> Throw it away. Next up is Cynthia Arizo and Carolina Herrera with Kristen Louboutin shoes and Roberto Coin jewelry. Um, can't even see your shoes in this picture. So thanks for mentioning them. Um, Cynthia was on an episode of Drag Race, one of my favorite shows. So I've seen her before. I love her personality. Actually, she was very just fun and spunky. And she seems to have her own sense of style, which I also like from people to be yourselves and don't just follow trends. She seems very on brand to her own brand. Black woman. And, um, the dress, uh, nothing I will wear. Very heavy. I see she has a slit, so I don't know. Maybe this angle is not doing her properly with the peekaboo leg, but um, it's cute. It's it's. I think it's her style. You know, it's different and eccentric. That's what I get from her. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a gorge. It's not garbage. It's not garbage at all. So right, it's gorge. The baby and the baby's always. He's one of the people that once again like push too hard to make something a thing like in his regular attire he don't seem to dress too dramatic but every time he's at some type of war show and event this man finds the most tackiest granddaddy outfit to put on and this is one of them like he's had this sage who is this he's wearing he's wearing gucci which is one of my favorite brands. I love Gucci. But this Gucci right here would make me very dry in the Gucci. Because it's kind of not given at all. Like The pink and the green look cute together. He, But he, he looks like a dirty watermelon. Like. And he's so short. So I don't know why he always like. How do I put it? It's like the oh, so he has a turtleneck, the long sleeves, all these layers. It's it's minimizing him. He's already a short man. He put on some Air Force Ones with it. That that didn't no that that didn't give nothing. Like, and is it just me? Or the baby is like not Asian well. Like I don't know what he does in his spare time, but. I don't know. He is not as handsome as people want him to be. Like, I don't know. The baby just don't do it for me. These styles definitely don't do it for me that he be bringing to these carpets. And it's garbage. <laughs> Go return yourself to the produce section with the rest of the celery. You look like turf on a playground. When I see you. No. I don't. I didn't hear it. Like I said, I don't really keep up with the daily Caucasian news. But um, this is Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, the picture right here on my computer is not the other picture I seen where um Kelly's tongue is was like black and like they were tonguing and like I said, I don't know what this is about. I guess they're dating. I don't know. I don't keep up with either of them, but. It's just giving trailer park, dusty, busty, back of a backstage at a rock concert. Let's have a quickie. Like, it's hot mess. It's hot mess. But I will say, Miss Fox is looking foxy. Megan Fox's body is snatched and sexy. The breasts are sitting where they should be. I love how the dress contours her shape. The sheerness down there. It's very sexy. She looks amazing. But the little accessory she brought with her in the back. With the wet noodles on top of his head. That's not where it's at. Um, so, I'm going to give Kelly a garbage and Megan Fox a gorge. Tina Lawson, who, if you don't know, is Miss Queen B. Beyonce's mother. Miss Tina Lawson. Tina knows Lawson. Um, Tina. 
I don't know. I feel like doing makeup for an older woman is a task. And whoever did it for Miss Tina tonight did not complete the task properly. I don't really like her makeup. She looks kind of crazy. Um, the hair, is it's okay. You know, she's an older woman. She's not about to have no frontal or nothing down to her drawers. I mean, she could. You could, Tina. I'm not really a fan of, like, suits and things like that. I would definitely be the type to wear a very dramatic dress. But, you know, Tina's older, so this is very mature. Fits for her age. It fits well, tailored properly. She looks comfortable, which is also very important. And, Tina, you get a gorge. Yes. Dixie D'Amelio and Ralph and Russo. I've heard his name before. Why? I don't know. Because I don't recognize this girl. Um, She's kind of got the little Doja Cat eye makeup going on. I'm not sure if Doja Cat invent invented this eye style. But it's one that Doja Cat wears a lot. So I'm going to call it a Doja Cat ass. Um, so let's see. Her neck is very long. Like you can tell. And she has on this halter top that's supposed to cut off her neck. But it's not doing that. It's actually drawing more attention to the length of her neck. And with this hair up like that, it just, no, it, it's, it's not creating a, a great story up here. I think she should have had her hair straight back, pushed behind her. And it would um, create an illusion around her neck to shorten it. Uh, the makeup is not even where Doja's was. Like, this looks like a poor man's Doja. Makeup looks rough. Earrings are ugly. Once again, not a lot of accessories. Like not, maybe you got a, a bracelet or two. Uh, uh, no. The nails are boring. This dress is boring. Very shapeless. Which she doesn't seem to be a very shapely woman anyway. And I don't, I'm not even quite sure how old this girl is. She looks... I wouldn't give her no older than 22. She looks pretty young. So, um, you know, I'm not... So I'm not expecting va va voom. But it's giving uh 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 and I don't like it. Um, this material uh, probably looks pretty in motion or in person, but it just looks very boring. It's like she just said, oh, arts and crafts day. I got some aluminum foil. I can make a dress real quick. Like, uh, it's garbage. She's in Kristen Seriano with Jackie Aichi Jewelry. Probably mispronounced that. Leave me alone. Um, this is a very cute little power suit, power bottom number. Like how the breasts are sitting out. The um, chain necklace. Very nice. I don't know. It must be something about this camera. Who took these pictures? Because... she's Padma is a very beautiful woman. And it's... This is not a good photo of her. Um, her hair looks like it could have been tamed better. But, you know, she probably had it going all over the place. It's probably was very hot this day. So, I mean, mm, the hair maybe was just brushed a bit. Would make everything come together better. But and I don't really like how the pants are going over the shoes. I'm not sure what type of shoes she had on. But that looks a little weird and awkward. But once again... Not enough of me to give it a garbage. I do like the um, stones and the bedazzlement of the suit. The white, very nice summer color. And I'm just going to go ahead and give Padma a gorge. Yeah. Ballerini and Nidre Tachirubu. <laughs> These names. I believe Kelsey Ballerini is a country singer. Don't quote me on it. I believe she had this one song I liked. I don't remember. But um, anyway, Kelsey looks... Uh, no, I don't like this. It's... The body is wrong. The, the, I, the, the make of the garment looks cheap. Like, even the way it's cut off on this side, that, it, it looks like someone did that last minute with some handicraft scissors. Like, it doesn't look hemmed properly. I don't like the shape of the skirt or, or those shorts. I can't even really tell. I think they're supposed to be shorts. I don't know. It looks very frumpy. The hair. The... 
just know I don't even want to say much more about it because it's just boring and it's garbage. No, it's garbage. Renee Elise, never heard of her. Uh, don't want to hear about it. Those shoes are hideous. This dress is hideous. She looks scared in this picture. And I'd be scared too if I came out to a red carpet event looking like this. Like, no, very ugly. Heavy material on a dress. I don't like the way it crinkles. The hair. I'm assuming this is her natural hair, which is very beautiful to wear your natural hair. But it's, it doesn't go together. Like, it's your hair and your outfit are telling these two different stories. And... It, this is garbage. Next up is Priyanka Chopra. She is wearing Dolce & Gabbana with Bulgari jewelry. You rich. Expensive. Priyanka Chopra is very beautiful. And this doesn't go against that. I love this outfit, actually. Only thing, I, I'm not sure if I really like the uh, that waist belt. Maybe if it was a uh, copper or rose gold, that that gold is a little too brassy and strong against this very beautiful white gold champagne garment she has. This outfit is very pretty, actually. I really like it, and it fits her well. She looks classy, beautiful, effortless. It's gorgeous. Fresh, it might be a black owned business because we do know Lena is always looking out for us people. Love her, a very good activist in our community as a black LGBT woman. Love it. And Lena looks cool. I love this mint color with the emerald undershirt, it's very pretty. Looks great with her skin. She's not doing too much, but it's still, it's you know, it's. It's the Billboard Music Award. This is not the Grammys or the Oscars. Just Billboard. Something cute. We on NBC. I don't really like the shoes. I'm not a fan of those loaf shoes. And her foot looks very large. <laughs> I don't like large feet. But um, everything else looks put together, tailored properly. She looks happy to be there. And Lena, you get a gorge. <laughs> Dreadlocks he had way back when when he like first came out But it looks like he's doing something else with his hair that I'm not a fan of I wish he would just keep it low like, I don't know why men nowadays don't want to just have low cuts like everyone's trying to do too much with their hair These men and it's just don't be looking cute like Cut it off this look clean So I'm definitely not feeling his hair he, as usual, looks uninterested. I would love to have a conversation with The Weeknd because he has so much passion and fire in his music. But as a person, he seems so, like, dulled out. He's, he's, he's definitely an enigma of a character. Um, His outfit is fine, you know. It's hard for me to judge menswear because they ain't busting it down, per se. So he, he has on a nice suit. And... He could be gorge. It looks good. He's a gorge guy tonight. Gorge the weekend. Next we have little rail how how <laughs> little rail how howry how we how we little little rail. We got a little rail right here. Um, I actually like his outfit. I like the boots and the plaid pants with the corduroy over shirt. Very nice. He had on his old Jesus piece. Bling out, bust down. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's it's not a gorge, but it ain't garbage, so gorge enough. Next it's cool. Are the Joe Bros, the Jonas Brothers. We got Nick, Joe, and Kevin. My favorite Jonas brother has always been Nick. But um Nick is the worst dress tonight in this picture. Um I thought St. Patty's Day was in March, but I guess he wanted to be a leprechaun tonight. Uh, no, I'm not feeling it. Then he has the shirt tucked in, and 
I don't know. Weird choice. It was a choice, Nick. Nick is garbage. <laughs> Joe is cool. You know, simple. I need to find an in-between. Some of these looks ain't giving gorge. But I don't feel like they're garbage either. Nick is garbage. I, I've, I've decided that Nick is garbage. But Kevin and Joe, they just look okay. They look casual, comfortable, cool. Ain't much else really to say. But Nick... Are you visiting the Emerald City at all? It's like... And it don't even seem like something Nick Jonas would wear. Like, it feels like this outfit is wearing him. Like, I'm not feeling that. But, man. We got a garbage and gorge and a gorge. Who are not brothers. But, um. Let's see, does it say who they're wearing? No. All right, let's, let's start with takeoff. He's always being left off. So, let's start with takeoff. I'm left off, bad and bullshit? Yeah. Do it look like I'm left off, bad and bullshit? Um, take off, could take off that rainbow bright jacket. He could take off them dusty, busty, baggy jeans with his travel printings on them. Um, he could keep on the, the Jordans. He could take off that ugly shirt. He could take off them glasses. Um, take off is giving garbage. Like, he looks like his mother dressed him from Rainbow Kids and thought he was gonna be looking cute to come out to the event. He even has like these big old, like his dreads are locked together. Like he looks like an oversized 10 year old from Rainbow Kids. And um, you're too old, you look, you, you look a mess. It's garbage. Now Quavo, <laughs> and y'all don't know, Quavo was like, used to be my celebrity crush. Like I was in love with Quavo. I still find him attractive. He didn't get ugly or anything. But um, when he got in a relationship with Sweetie, I don't know. Like, I'm the type of girl, I'm not really that attracted to you if you got a girlfriend. Like, I don't really want you that much anymore. So I've been kind of fell back. And then the falling out of his relationship with Sweetie was just kind of like a little questionable. It made me look at him differently as well. But um, he is still a fine man. I'm going to be honest. Quavo looks good. I like this color on him. Like, it's cute. And then, I like, a flamingo imprinted in his outfit. Like, that's really nice and different. The Migos are... I think this is, like, a rapper thing, honestly. Like, a lot of rappers do some really out there things with their fashion. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Take off, it didn't. Quavo, it works. He looks good. I like the white, even though his um, pants are a little bit more ecru, they're not quite as white as his white tee. So that throws me off a little bit, but I see what he was going for. He has on his um, Air Jordan 4s. I wish his pants were a little bit more. Like all three of them have on very baggy pants. Like y'all trying to bring it back to the 2000s? Um, okay. But yeah, Quavo looks gorge. Of course. And then we got cheat set. Ooh. Off cheating. Ooh. Offset. Offset looks offset. Like something is off about this look. And it's set wrong. Uh, don't like this leather shirt. With these. I don't know what the heck that material is in his pants. But it looks, it looks uncomfortable. It looks hot. He has on like these rubber black boots. No. No. Like, Quavo, did you leave out the house with these two? Or did they both just agree that you was going to be on when it looks good tonight? Like, uh, uh Offset looks a mess. But I guess that's fine because he'll still be able to find a woman to sleep with him even though he's married. So, garbage. <laughs> Alicia Key stole my brand. Like Alicia Key made a big deal that she don't wear makeup and she natural. Da, 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 da. Um, I haven't been wearing makeup all my life. I've been natural. I've been the gorgeous girl with no makeup. Don't come from my brand, Alicia. But Alicia, yes, you look very gorgeous. 
no makeup natural beautiful skin i love this color that she is in this very fuchsia coral the drama of her sleeves i like it alicia i like it a lot alicia keys is aging very beautiful as well like she's a very beautiful woman and um she's wearing valentino and it's a gorge look say who the garment is made by and that's probably best for them because um what is this what is this look at her face she even looks like <laughs> i don't know what i'm wearing but i'm wearing it and i'm here <laughs> i don't know who Nas perez is and from this outfit i don't want to know um she has on these boots that have no she actually is wearing pants that go over the shoe i think or the heel it looks like she has a heel on i don't like it i don't like all this red together the top of the dress looks frumpy the two chest areas are not even and um it's just, it's too much, but not enough. It's garbage. She is one of my favorite singers. I love Pink. Not only the color, but the singer, Miss Alicia Moore. I believe it's her government name. <laughs> uh, Pink is also a Virgo like me. I just love Pink. Like, she's one of my favorite singers. But I gotta be honest, Mama. She's right here with her kids. And her kids are actually kind of cute. And they look just like her. I haven't seen her kids in a while. I haven't really been following or keeping up with Pink in a while um so yeah it's nice to see her kids say oh cute but once again mama all this is not about to save you from this dress um it is pink very on brand but i don't know i don't like it it's just it's not aesthetically pleasing for me at all and I don't know, I guess Pink has matured. She's a mother and things now. So, I guess, but I don't know. She still doesn't seem her style. Like, even she has this cut on her hair, this edgy. And this dress is getting very bohemian, very dated. It's just, everything is not falling together right. And Mama, it's garbage. I'm sorry. I still love you, but not, not I don't like this look. want to get in your ponies y'all when i say i love kalani i love kalani i don't know what my type is it's kalani like dark hair tatted sexy body <sighs> not too feminine not too butch This woman could get it. And if I seen her right here on this carpet with this sexy dress on, she would have got it. She's wearing Tony Ward and, um, damn, damn, damn. I'm gonna be honest, I don't particularly actually like the garment, actually looking at it. But I don't know, it's something about how she's wearing it. Like, I like the see through, you can see her legs, hat, and just. Her style and her vibe, it, it's just oozes sex and edginess and ooh, it looks good. Like this red is a good color on her. Like Kalani can do no wrong to me. I'm sorry, y'all. She's gorgeous, a mother. I love Kalani. I love this hair on her. Cause she's been keeping it kind of short lately with the hair. So yes, these inches, this everything 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 i love it kalani like mwah, you look great next we have her and it's definitely giving her because she just looks like a anybody a pedestrian like i hate this look i hate sequins like i hate sequins and she's wearing red sequins and the color red is always hit or miss with me right now it's a miss 
um it has like these black linings so she looks like a sequin race car flag girl like you know the ones like one two go like in fast furious type thing it's giving that it's giving uh i don't like this ponytail i don't like how she put it over her shoulder like that uh and she always wears sunglasses. I really, if I seen her face, I probably wouldn't recognize her. Like, uh, uh, she looks terrible. She needs a new stylist, like pronto. You, it's giving her like, you ain't, you ain't nobody. Just a her, <laughs> garbage. All right, so we have two left. Guess the better ones were saved for last. We have SZA, and SZA's another one, like, one of the most beautiful women in the planet, like, she's, it's something about, I don't know, it's just her eye shape, and her, with them beautiful large lips, like, SZA face is just so interesting to me, I love SZA, I love her music, Control is definitely, like, one of my top 10 favorite albums of all time, I love me some SZA, I wish I could look like SZA, like, she's the ideal of beauty, the brown skin, her hair is always beautiful on her, like, I love SZA, this is no exception, I like this hair with the honey blonde streak in the front, the darker hair, the heavy curls, the body, can we talk about the body, the body, the breast, the hip, snatched, ooh, Mmm, SZA did that. Definitely one of the best dress of the night and most definitely gorgeous. Like, ah, yes, SZA. Put on for the brown girls. I love SZA. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. SZA, me and you need a SZA. And last but definitely not least, one of my favorite people, Kanye West. The man of the night with his two awards. The man of the decade, the go, Mr. Drizzy Drake. Drizzy Drake, who made all that singing stuff a thing. Everyone out here trying to sing and rap are Drake's sons. Did I lie? But y'all were always on Drake about it. Oh, he's giving light skin. Oh, he's he's giving this and that. He's a sissy. He's be singing too much. He don't really rap. But that's what that's what all these rappers today are doing. I think that's called influence. And he most definitely deserved his accolades that he received on this night. Like I said, I didn't watch it, but I seen a couple of clips with it with his son. And I'm just so happy for Drake. He's one of my favorite artists. Like I love Drake so much. Drake is definitely, like, he literally is the GOAT. Like, Drake can do everything and anything. He does every anything. He is timeless. Has a song for any mood, any situation. And he's a handsome man. Mm -hmm. Not really my type. Be a little too light for me. See, me, my man got to pass the paper bag test as in, you have to be as brown as the paper bag or darker. If you're lighter than the paper bag, I don't want you. And Drake is definitely lighter than the paper bag. But he's still handsome, and Drake has definitely glowed up over the years. Like, Drizzy went from that boy in your class that got the answer to the work, but and he kind of cute, but he's a nerd, and he's kind of weird and awkward, definitely a virgin, into Champagne Poppy, the beard and the muscles, and mm, Drake glued up. Like, he, he mm -hmm. we see you, Drake, and this suit was very nice and tailored. He looks good. I like this color on him. And you, you, I'm not going to read Drake, y'all. I tell people all the time, my mother is Nicki Minaj and my father is Drake. And be honest, if Nicki and Drake had a baby, it would look like me. But I don't know. Because we see Drake baby and them white jeans, they weren't hiding. So I don't know what I would look like <laughs> if Nicki and Drake had a baby. But I think it's as gorgeous as I am. So, you know, Drake is definitely the dad. He's the king, the goat, the best. Like, I love Drake. Definitely ain't no rapper ever going to touch Drake. Never. Nobody.
he's he's holding it down still in the game still making hits Drake Drizzy Drake Mr. Aubrey Drake Cram shout out to you you are gorgeous you're the, one of the most gorgeous man in the world Drake mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Technically, everyone that was there, some people I skipped over because I'm definitely not familiar with. And I also like didn't like their looks. I didn't think it was much to talk about. And I didn't want to make this video too long. So, yeah, that was that. I'm so good. I can't wait to the My First Red Carpet event. I got I to gotta go off. Like, y'all know there's going to be a bow involved because we always repping the brand. And, like... I just can't wait. I'm going to get there one day. And, yeah. Until then, I can review more red carpet looks. Like I said, I don't really watch TV. And I definitely haven't been keeping up with award shows. So, just keep me updated on what's going on. I'll try to catch the at least the uh, carpet proportions of the shows. Review them. Is the Met Gala still happening? I might review those looks too. Because y'all know they be doing some crazy things at the Met Gala. Definitely a topic of conversation. And above all else, stay gorgeous. Bye.